Such a shame. She seems so young, so innocent. Yeah, you know, very. Right? Uh. Well, it's kind of hard to tell with all the work she's had mm. done. I'm gonna need a chisel to get all that makeup off. Watch it there, Moesha. I may be in a coma, but I'm not deaf. <laughs> Doctor, do you think she knows we're here? With that breath, I knew when you left your house. <laughs> I just don't understand, why would a 90-year-old Hasidic man want to beat this woman into a coma? All I said was, is that your nose, or did the Queen Mary just dock on your face? Excuse me, I'm here for the last rites. Don't you mean last call, your alcoholic niece? I'm sorry I'm late, I was, I was administering to another poor soul. Hard to tear yourself away from the children's wing, was it? Well, there's been no change in her condition. Oh, Mercy, I suppose it's in God's hands now. And I suppose that's what you told little Timmy about 20 minutes ago. Well, I just, I wish there was something I can do. I feel so helpless. I mean, all my life, even as a child, I've wanted to dedicate myself to saving lives. That is exactly what I admire about you. You are so la, good. La, la, so oh, good. Okay, you know what? Oh, I appreciate yeah. that. La, la, okay, Thank you, you so know what? Why don't you two get a room? <laughs> oh my God, Kathy! Is she alive? Yes, yes. Mmm, so much for the power of positive thinking. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, excuse me. Uh, who are you? Well, if you promise it won't go beyond the room, I'm her mother. <laughs> the question is, which one of the privates at Fort Bragg who is my father? Oh, you poor, poor thing. There's no greater tragedy than a parent losing a child. Well, Father, if it were any other child, I might agree with you. Now, let's just pull the plug. Okay, okay, you know what? Keep Mrs. Kevorkian away from that thing. No, that's totally not necessary. She's just in a coma. She could come out any second. Okay, then, in other words, we really have no time to lose. So, do you literally pull a plug on this thing, or is there some kind of switch? Oh, this, this... Yeah, you know what? Right? Oh, my God. She's awake. Oh, okay. I guess Nurse Ratchet is officially in charge of the obvious. <laughs> well, we had our chance, but this idiot here had to get all Hippocratic on me. Madam, you have no right to call this doctor an idiot. Mm, yeah, and this idiot has no right to call himself a doctor. <laughs> There you go, Father. Here's your argument for birth control. I can't believe you two talk to each other this way. For God's sakes, you're your mother and daughter. Mm -hmm. And I can't believe the way you two talk to each other when you thought I wasn't listening. Oh, yes, yes, that's it, Doctor. Watch the teeth, nurse. I don't want to scream and wake up the coma lady. Question, if we pull the plug now, can we still kill her? Uh. In heaven's name, woman, listen to yourself. This is your daughter you're talking about. Exactly. Your child. I know. From time to time, she must make your life difficult. But you and I both know yeah. that deep down, she is an adorable, sweet ray of sunshine. Okay. For you see, despite what they do, uh -huh. the children love us. Yeah. And we, in turn, yeah. must love the children. <laughs> Excuse me, Father Felicio. <laughs> From your actions, I can tell that your crucifix swings both ways, if you know what I mean. Oh, so what have I gone and done? She's back at home. Hallelujah! It's a miracle. Let's go buy you kids a drink. Come on. Yeah, oh, that's that's so good. <laughs> good, let's hurry up before she comes out of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What are you gonna do now? Go through my purse for some loose change? Hey, what are you do what are you doing? Ah, you know what? This looks like trouble. 